Hey everybody, this is Brooks Barnard from joydog.com and tonight we're going to show you how to edit your build prop so that <clears throat> you can <clears throat> have home screen, home screen rotation on your Nexus 7. Uh, so first you do need to be rooted to perform this uh, mod on your Nexus 7. So I will be putting a link to my uh, Droid Dog post to my how-to root video for the Nexus 7 so, uh, so that you can root your device if you'd like to perform this mod. There are some apps available apparently to um, have home screen ro rotation on the Nexus 7 uh, but this is this method's free it's really simple and it's it's basically you can build it into your your Nexus 7. First I'll demonstrate that this is actually <laughs> stock Android as you can see, my screen is not rotating. It's staying locked in portrait mode. This is something I can't turn on. Um, I'm running... I'm currently on just a stock rooted ROM. This is uh, Android version... Let's see if it focuses. Android version 4.1.1, uh, build number JR0, JRO03D. So f the first thing we need to do is actually... Uh, you don't have to do this, but what I strongly suggest for you to do is to back up your Nexus 7 and uh, because we're going to be messing with the uh, build prop file. So uh, you're going to need to boot into your recovery and back up. There's a couple different methods to do that. If you have a Clockwork Mod custom recovery, you can use uh, ROM Manager. You can also, if you're using, using like a twerp, uh, Team Win Recovery Project Custom Recovery. You could use Quick Boot, or you can plug your device into your computer, uh, power off, and boot into the bootloader mode, and then uh, go to Custom Recovery. I'm just going to reboot into Recovery from ROM, man ROM Manager. Manager, and I'm going to hit OK. So I have the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, version six. This is the Touch Recovery. So, um, yours might be a little bit different if it isn't a touch recovery or if you're using a, like a twerp custom recovery. But basically you just want to do backup and restore and then backup. So if anything goes wrong, you can actually boot back into the, your custom recovery again and restore back to how your device was. I've already performed a custom, or excuse me, I've already performed the backup. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to reboot the system uh, to uh, just reboot the Nexus 7. Alright, and uh, we'll skip forward to the, to the home screen. Okay, looks like we're back at the home screen now. So, uh, next what we're going to need to do, you're going to need to have a, uh, <clears throat> a kind of a root explorer, or a file explorer that can explore your, that, that needs root access. I use um, root explorer and we'll go into there. If you um, haven't used it before, you're going to need to give it super user access. And we'll need to um, access your system folder. And then here's the file build prop right here. And this is what it looks like. I've actually already forgot a step. We're going to go back. We're going to need to mount uh, the read write Right now we're, we're read only, so we're going to need to mount this so it's read right. And there we're good to go there. And then to edit the build prop, uh, you can long press it and then open in text editor. And uh, so, so you can see that open in text editor right here. And we'll go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to actually set this aside so I can get you the uh, the text that we need to enter here. I'm going to lock lock screen. Okay, the method that we're using today is actually uh, was posted on XDA by E Johnson zero five four seven. So shout out to him for uh, for giving us this uh, simple method to enable lock screen excuse me, home screen rotation. 
So the text that we're actually going to enter into our build prop file is launcher.force underscore enable underscore rotation equals true. I'm going to actually copy this text and put it in the uh, in the droid dog post. So you don't need to remember that. But I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. Launcher dot force. Oops. So make sure that it's exactly the way that we uh, have it posted on the drug dog page. Post. And I'll try and see if you guys can actually see what's going on here. Launcher dot force underscore enable underscore rotation equals true. Okay. Launcher dot force underscore enable underscore rotation equals true. Just double checking I have everything right. I don't want to mess anything up here if I can avoid it. Looks like everything's spelled correctly. All right, and then we can back out of that. It's going to ask us if we want to save the changes. Yes. And uh, then all we need to do is reboot. So I'm going to power off. And uh, we'll come back once it's all rebooted. Okay, now we're back to the lock screen. So if we've done everything right in the uh, build prop file, I should be able to turn it now. And we should see a landscape home screen. So now I can swipe it to the side. You can see the apps. Here's your app or your your doc your app dock down here. It's on the side now, and you still have the Google search bar on the side, so I can still hit that. Here's my Google Now. <clears throat> so there it is. There's your method for uh, editing your build props so you can get the the home screen rotation. You can enable that. You can still um, lock it up here it, if you want to uh, lock it for any reason. So now I can't rotate it. And you can also lock it in landscape mode if you want to. So pull that down, lock it, send it back up. So now it's locked in the landscape mode. Which So I think this will be really handy. I see like a lot of uh, cases out there that aren't that don't have um, the ability to uh, like uh, rest your Nexus 7 standing up in portrait mode. So that could be this will be really handy for those of you that have a case that will only like allow the kickstand in the landscape mode, just for navigating around your your device. It should be a little more convenient. So, anyways, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Be sure to follow us on DroidDog.com. You can follow DroidDog on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. My name is Brooks Barnard. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus. Uh, be sure to let us know if you have any questions. And uh, this is again at your own risk. So, good luck if you follow these instructions properly. You sh should be good to go. Um, Thanks and have a great day. Bye.